The road to Vegas series where the goal is to grind up a £5,000 streak of profit playing 1-2 cash games in London casinos and then upon reaching the goal flying out to Las Vegas to attempt to grow that bankroll further but there is a long way to go as with just one year part-time experience costly mistakes are still being made but learning from them and sharing the process is what this is all about anyway without further ado let's get into today's vlog in the first hand of note, we look down at seven nine of spades at the bottom of my range here. I open to seven out of the cutoff, both the button and small blind call, sending us three ways to six, three, seven, one spade, two diamonds, and overall three decent cards for our hand. So when it checks to us, I feel very inclined to bet for value from their draws and fold their over cards. So I see bet fairly large, around 50% pot, which to my surprise, both players call making me question if I could be behind here since our kicker isn't the best. The turn however is a great one for our range, the king of clubs and it checks to us. So we do have showdown value but in the moment feel we just have to barrel this card since it hits our range so well can also still get value from draws and maybe even fold a hand like 10-7 or ace-7 suited. I barrel for 25 just under half pot again both players do make the fold and we start the session with a small win. Next, we pick up pocket tens in the big blind. There are two limpers before button raises to 12. I think with tens here, we should definitely be free betting, but I make the first mistake by calling and we go three ways to nine, eight, five, all of diamonds action checks through on the flop now the turn upgrades us to a set with a 10 of hearts but it also now makes queen jack a straight first to act i want to start building a pot now to charge better flush draws so i bet 15 but that was enough pressure for both of our opponents and we take down another small pot furthermore we win another small pot with a king queen off when we call the cut off raise to seven on the button flop comes a seven jack rainbow giving us nothing but king high and a gut shot he checks i check back eight of hearts on the turn he leads now for a tenner i call another ace on the river he checks now which to me feels very capped so i go for it i bet 30 potentially folding out lower pocket pairs we lose two and he does fold got he <laughs> got he <laughs> whoa <laughs> Okay, moving on to peeling the TNTs again. Lojack opens to seven and this time I correctly make the raise to a large sizing of 30 though. He does still make the call, hoping for a low flop now. It comes just that with three, seven, six, two diamonds. When it checks to me, I wanna use a large size in here as the board is quite wet. So I bet 45 into 63, he makes the call pretty quickly turn is the king of clubs which is far better for our range i want to continue to get value from his draws and lower pocket pairs so bet just over half pot 80 into 153 and after thinking for half a minute he lets it go earning us our biggest pot of the session so far let's go Next up, we are in the small blind. There is an eight pound open from the plus one, the cut of calls and the button calls and a pretty dreamy spot for us other than being our position. I raised to 56 pounds and only the original razor in the plus one calls. Flop comes 10, seven, three, rainbow. And that my friends is a great flop as we have pocket kings. I decide to fast play my hand and lead out betting £35 into a pot of 130 He makes a call for that price. Turn is as clean as you like with the deuce of clubs. I think we want to continue barreling here on a card that changes nothing so that our story lines up. Although it could get interesting with a check for that reason to trap. I do end up betting though around half pot 
as there are several hands we can get value from. After 20 seconds, he unfortunately mucks though. On to the next hand where we peel king queen off in the button. Two players limped to us. I limp behind when I should 100% be raising here. As a result, their blinds join along and we go five ways to a flop of 10 for Jack. Two hearts. Checks to the cutoff. Who bets pots? I believe he has something, but we are open-ended and have two overs so never going anywhere i call heads up to the turn the best card in the deck the nine of clubs giving us the stone cold coconuts Deep and let that be a reminder to not limp with strong hands cut off now bets two third pot i decide to raise to 65 and he unfortunately doesn't take too long before folding we peel seven six of spades first act limped we are next to act and being frustrated with myself for limping in the previous hand and I try to compensate that now by raising a hand which, given the configuration here, has less merit to raising than the previous hand. But I do so to £12. Now, player to my direct left with a stack of 125 makes an annoying raise to 25 quid. The big blind cold calls and with that price, I simply have to call. So luckily for us, flop comes pretty nice. Double, four, six, rainbow. I decide to check to the initial raiser, who then bets a very large £45, leaving him only £55 more behind. So essentially, he's all in for £100. Big blind folds, and I tank for over a minute because I'm really torn, but then finally realise he has all the overpairs, just looks and feels very strong. And I eventually make the discipline lay down and live to see another day. Ace Jack off next on the button with the super straddle on. Action folds to us and with all that dead money out there and a hand as strong as ours, I of course elect to raise to 50 pounds. The guy in the super straddle calls for 40 pound more and the flop delivers 10, 5, 7 with two diamonds. He checks, I check back as ace high has some showdown value. Turn is fantastic for us, the king of hearts. He checks, I think I could bet here to get him off a low pair. And so I bet for around quarter pot, which on the board texture is just too small and should be better polarized here. And therefore using a larger sizing or none at all looking back. Our opponent maybe recognizes this as he raises us now to a hundred pounds. Unfortunately, nothing to do but fold after making that mistake. Nice hand, we move. On to picking up Ace Queen of Hearts. Folds to us. We raise the Straddler, get two callers to the flop, which we whiff. Straddler donk bets we have two overs and a flush dream. So call and go heads up to a blank turn where he barrels for too good of a price to turn down. Then we miss on an inconsequential river and we see our opponent slow down and check to us. We contemplate a bluff, feeling confident our opponent has a jack, but ultimately don't think it would be believable given the run out. So give up and check back. He shows Jack A off and we keep it stepping. There is an older gentleman, the same man who moved us off ace jack on the turn with a raise to £100 two hands ago, has now raised blind, or so he claims, to £12. Action folds to us, and we are looking down at none other than the red ladies. So, I free bet to 40, feeling like he will call almost any two cards. I've got a big hand in my going. But no, he bumps it up to a hundred pounds. I simply think him knowing we knew he opened blind, he must think we are free betting lighter than we are, but we have the third best hand in the game. So I snap go all in and this is what happens next. I didn't look. Wow. 
Ouch. Under normal circumstances, I think five betting queens is not wise, at least at the casino I play at. But given he opened blind, I think it makes it more reasonable. So just feel it was quite unlucky. He had one of the 12 combos of hands. We are behind pre-flop. So nothing to do but move on, I think. Currently down a buy-in and a bit, we put the queen's hand behind us, add on 270 pounds, and a few hands later, get shown the most beautiful sight in poker. Yes, pocket aces, just when we need it to get out of the hole. I've put myself in. Hoping for some action here, Lojack gives us just that with a raise to seven pounds. I raise to an enticing 20 pounds and Big Blind makes the call as well, sending us three ways to a flop, revealing seven king for rainbow. As dry as you like, action checks to me. Now I decide not to put more money into the pot with a great hand and a flop that hits my range. I can't tell you why I didn't choose to bet. Sometimes I like to be a tricky donkey. <laughs> The turn is the nine of clubs. Shouldn't change too much here. Interestingly, now Lojack bets out pot for 60 pounds. I contemplate raising, but I decide to just call and risk the big blind calling as well, which he surprisingly does. River is the queen of clubs. And now Lojack barrels for less than third pot with a 75 pound bet. And for that price oh, yeah. at the time, couldn't find the fold. And when the big blind calls as well, I'm pretty certain I'm no good. Lojack flips over his hand and shows he drilled his gut shot on the turn with a rivered straight. Big blind mucked and I really don't like how I played this one. <sighs> Uh, very unlucky with the queen's hand and then finished off the session just absolutely butchering aces i think i need to just bet the flop multi-way just gotta bet the flop hope someone's got a king guys appreciate you all peace there is some good news in that this session motivated me to find and start working with a poker coach which i hope you'll see the impact of in future sessions as we continue on this poker journey